What's going on guys? It is Bernardo and today is all about upgrading to Windows 11 25H2 using Microsoft Intune. So let's get right into it. All right, so the first thing that we need to do is log into your Microsoft 365 Admin Center, which is right here. On the left hand side, we are going to click on Show All. And we're going to locate and click on Microsoft Intune. So locate it and click on it. On the left hand side, we're going to click on devices. And within here, underneath by platform, we're going to click on Windows. Now, once you're here, underneath manage updates, we're going to click on Windows updates. And you have a bunch of tabs. Now, the first tab that we're going to get into would be the update rings. We're going to click on create profile. So click on it and give it a name. Now I gave it this name sucks. I should have added something more like, you know, update ring profile, something like that. Update ring policy. So sorry, I apologize. I was doing this pretty quick. So once you give it a name on the lower left hand side, let's click on next. And it is time for you to set it up. Now, I can't really tell you what's the best settings within your environment, you have to go over all of it. But for me, what I did was where it says upgrade Windows 10 devices to the latest Windows 11 release. By default, it is no. We're going to slide it to your left for yes. If you scroll down, you got a bunch of other updates. I left everything as the default, but again, change it to fit your environment. And on the lower left hand side, we're going to click on next. And for assignments, we are going to click on add groups. I'm going to select my group. I'm going to click on select. And on the lower left hand side, let's click on next. A nice little review. And on the lower left hand side, let's click on create. On the upper right hand side, you're going to get update ring successfully assigned. And it was also successfully created. If you give it some time, there goes our update ring policy or profile, whatever you want to call it. Right now it is running. The feature is running. It's great. So let's head over to the feature updates tab and let's click on create. You have two options. We are going to select create feature update policy. And we're going to give it a name. Now make sure that the feature update to deploy is set to Windows 11 version 25 H2. When I was testing this out by default, it gave me 25 H2, which was great. Underneath that, you have two options, required update or optional. I left it as required update. And at the very bottom, you have your rollout options. Now for me, I set it to as soon as possible, which is the default option. On the lower left hand side, we're going to click on next and it's time for us to assign a group. So let's click on add groups, select your group, click on select. On the lower left hand side, let's click on next. A nice little review and on the lower left hand side, let's click on create. On the upper right hand side, it is going to say that your feature update was successfully assigned and it was also successfully created. If you refresh the page, you're going to get your new profile or your feature update. Great. Now you are able to run reports to check on things. On the left hand side, let's click on reports and underneath device management, we are going to click on Windows updates and click on generate a report. On the upper right hand side, it's going to start saying generating report. Give it some time. There goes our report. Right now, I don't have anything. It's just zero. It just takes some time. Uh, I would say give it about 24 hours. Come back here again and just click on generate again and you should see something here. And that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoy and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.